This story is both ridiculous and sad. Now, if you weren't aware, Louis C.K. was recently in Toronto. He was performing at the Yuck Yucks there for a series of shows, and it caused a huge uproar all over the internet as well as through Canadian media. One headline reads, Disgraced comic Louis C.K. gets a standing ovation in Toronto. A picture was posted of the club owner taking a picture with Louis C.K. And right below it, there's a comment by a comedian named Shanti, okay? And it reads, Jesus Christ, y'all give zero shits about women you employ. Congrats on a fun week. Now, Shanti, if you aren't aware, is a, a queer comedian. Uh, she's a trans a comedian out of Toronto who's pretty well known. He followed up by saying, You should be ashamed. You will sign so many women in the future who won't say it to save their jobs, but it hurts every single time we are told that the abuse we incur in this world is acceptable. Every time you book an abuser, it stings. I'm a sexual assault survivor. I was assigned female at birth. I'm allowed to have an opinion about your club purposely hiring people who abuse us. And then one of the workers at the club writes, when speaking about abusers, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Let's open up the discussion to everyone in the community. <laughs> Let me go get some juice. This man really left to go get some juice. I got some lime juice because that one is bitter. The next comment comes from a female comic who's also part of that safe space scene. I can confirm that these ac accusations with knowledge of four or more people who experienced abuse at the hands of Shanti like I did. Most folks know about her behavior as a predator and a gatekeeper. She writes another comment an hour later, I'm currently being threatened to stay quiet, trying to figure out if my legal rights before I can say anything else. Now here, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of context, all right? There's a huge scene of social justice warriors, okay, who are part of the comedy scene, and the, you know they're all about canceling people and doing all this other stuff, and Shanti is one of the spearheads of that. She's one of the pioneers of uh, queer and present danger. That's her scene over there. I'm gonna show you what mine is. Oh! Number one, stop supporting abusers. I think that should be everybody's number one. The cringe effect on this is real. So you had the audacity to come after Louis C.K. for what he did. Meanwhile, you got even bigger skeletons in your own closet. Remember when we did that video about safe spaces and the guy with dreads? Yes. And I told everybody, this was back I think in 2018, I said, listen, yeah. Safe spaces aren't what they're made out to be. No. What they often are are breeding grounds for wolves in sheep's clothing. And what ends up happening is that these people, right, who subscribe to these safe spaces, those who are very vulnerable amongst us that go to these places, their defenses are so low that a lot of wolves go in there and it's easy pickings. That's why I prefer to live out in the real world. I don't need places that are geared only towards people of color. Why? Because the reality is that there is no space that's just super safe for me. I'd rather just live up with my eyes wide open, always watching, always attentive all the time, rather than this false sense of safety that people like to build for us. It was funny because that's why, that's, that's, that's a bit how Rachel Dolezal was able to get in her shit. What do you mean? So was, well, she was able to get in the position at the end, uh, NAACP where, where they thought she, she was one of, one of theirs. But, she but wasn't. even Rachel Dolezal is better because yeah, she didn't because try to prey on no, black she people. Promote, she yeah. wanted to pass as one. So imagine, Rachel Dolezal is actually better because she's not abusing of anything. Wow. And there's a lot of people like that. I know people personally who have sexually abused me, right? And I would see them on Facebook the next day, these women posting, oh, men need to do better. This Me Too movement hasn't done enough. And I'm just like, you should believe her. And you know what? I never called this girl out. I let it go. But I remember just reading that and being so annoyed and so angry. I'm like, yeah, boo you grabbed my private parts against my will. I told you no. And the very next day, you're paraded around as this pioneer of social justice when I know for a fact that you are a garbage human being. You're going to call her out? Who? That girl. No, I'm not getting into that. Okay. Yeah. Why? I'm just asking. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to bring that shit up. You did. You did mention that to me that it was like, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, you know who it is. I showed you a picture, didn't I? I know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I you, know what it is. Yeah. Off the record, you still on that wall? No, not her. You know, she... nigga. Yeah. Why are you laughing at my pain? I literally just told you my whole story and you're out here laughing? 
Nigga, you know what this life is about. What is it about? This is some fucked up shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here going to cry about it. It is what it I'm is. I'm not saying no. Yeah. That's not what I... Swarthly, viewers, Nigga, he's the problematic who, one. Who the fuck? I want to know why this story pisses me off. It's because I've been personally banned from some safe space rooms. In fact, one of the victims of Shanti is one of the people who helped get me banned. And I said, you know what? You guys can have your safe spaces. In fact, there's a room here in Montreal that used to be called Psychic City. Psychic City. Okay, I remember getting banned. And I said, okay, it's all good. A month later, got closed down. Want to know why? Because the person who owned it turned out to be a sexual abuser. Ooh. So you see what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't even want to go to these spaces because y'all are far more problematic than I can ever hope to be. Jordan Peterson somewhere out there be like, clean your room before you try to change the world. Psychologically speaking, I think they detest what they are doing to others. Yeah. And so they That's outwardly... Their That's their cleansing. Instead of dealing with whatever problematic behavior that they're engaged in. I hate what I'm doing. Let me preach to the people. And you think that... I, that There's that, like self-loathing in there. It's a mixture of different things. It's super messed up. Because I'm not for canceling people. No. I'm not. No. no, I'm really not for canceling. But I'm for canceling an advocate for canceling people if they get caught doing something that they're fighting against. Because that's what you want to do. You just should taste your own medicine, boo-boo. How does it taste? Buckley's. It's nasty, but it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your first thing was to stop supporting abusers. Well, guess what, boo-boo honey, chicken, cherry, chow, honey, bun, and bunch. We should cancel you and stop supporting you. Because that, not because that's what I believe in. But apparently, that's what you believe in. And if you come out saying, oh, listen, guys, these... Charges against me aren't true. We should believe her. You see, it comes back around full circle. I thought this story just made me chuckle because I got to see a whole bunch of comics who I thought were trash and were bad human beings and it came to light and they had the audacity to say some stuff to me about my character just because I had questions. And it turns out they didn't have questions. Motherfuckers had actions. <laughs> <laughs> Very questionable actions. Which questionable actions? You know, you know what's crazy is that she was born a female. She was assigned female. And she trans, she's transitioning, right? She, she identifies as a man. I guess she is. <laughs> I guess she's transitioning perfectly because, you know, man are the perpetrator. Man are the problem. And in your transition, you became the problem. I mean, hey... <laughs> You you are doing wonders with that. Hey, you're I think you're, I think you're taking the transition a little bit too far. <laughs> you're like, hey man, need to do better. Uh, you too. I will do it again. <laughs> and I want all the big media outlets, the ones who claim to be all about the rainbow and all these inclusivity ideas and CBC Radio, CTV, all the ones who've been putting Shanti up all the time as some kind of icon and role model for us to follow. I want you guys to come out and say something about this too, right? You guys want to take the time to bash Louis C.K. because he's on a big platform. But what happens when one of your own is engaged in far more egregious forms of abuse? What are you guys going to do? Everyone wants to be self-righteous, but nobody wants to look at themselves and their own behavior. Everybody wants change. Nobody wants to break a 20. That's it for today's video. We want to know what are your thoughts. Leave it in the comments below. Shit.